Tonight, our sponsor takes great pride in presenting the nationally famed artist Louis Bunce as your host on a new concept in television programming. The majesty. This is the first of a series of programs designed to bring to you the force and freshness of contemporary jazz music and the idioms of painting, sculpture, and poetry for the film, the dance, and the personalities. The creative force is being constantly renewed and restated in these forms, and none are more capable than those who identify themselves with and work within the area generally referred to as the jazz scene. With a thorough knowledge of their craft and its historical background, these men and women, through their disciplines, have freed their imaginative and creative forces to express the vitality of their times and their relationship to it. Spontaneous in character, often satirical and dipped in humor, never covering up the act, their product becomes a faithful voice of our culture. Oh, Jimmy. Hi, Lou. Is this your axe? Uh, no, this isn't mine. This belongs to Lee right now, no. but uh, it's going to be used. Oh, great. Uh, how are all the boys? Good. Good We're all eager to play. Wonderful. What's the tune, man? The first tune's going to be a Quinn Anderson arrangement of Limehouse Blues. Thank you. 
Citronella bit was uh, quite an exciting thing. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, uh, about five years ago I had a little band down in Medford, Oregon. It was the same instrumentation as this one and uh, began writing some arrangements that incorporated sounds of nature and mm -hmm. other sounds, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally I, uh, we're going to experiment a little more up here on these from now on, I think, the way this one turned out. What about that introduction? Did you clip that out this afternoon? Yes, out of black cardboard. Oh, really? Cut five uh, sheets out and pan through it, or yeah. dollied through it. Oh, I understand we're going to see a film shortly. Uh, uh, did you uh, shoot this uh, around Portland? or? Uh, four of us, uh, Frank Summers yeah. and Jim Smith and uh, Frank Parr, the producer, went out and shot different bits of uh, whatever we saw, in fact. Yeah. Highway, junkyards, and... Well, did you have some kind of idea that motivated you in it, or...? Well, we knew it had to be staccato because the music was going to be improvised behind it, and uh, it would have that quality. Mm -hmm. So it has a, a certain kind of animation, and you feel, mm -hmm. out of inanimate objects. Yes. Well, let's see the film, shall we? Fine. Fine. This is uh, a little painting bit, and uh, painting with jazz, not to jazz. In other words, the, uh, the band and myself are actually working together. You might say rather parallel. Uh, I, can, I take something from the band, and I'm sure that the band takes something from me. Uh, I don't know exactly what's going to happen simply because uh, I'm faced with a blank uh, canvas or board in this case. And uh, what the results will be is uh, a little hard to anticipate. I think the value that comes out of it uh, always reflects back to the person that has the control over it finally. He's the one who determines uh, somewhere what he places down. And uh, in any improvisation, I think this is quite true. So it has value. It's very different from studio art. There's no uh, chance to pursue it over uh, any length of time outside of what happens within this short space of time. Now, it can be a mess. On the other hand, it could be very good. Now, in this case, the tune is aesthetic. And uh, Jim and the boys are slapping.
Now the band's going to have a feature number, or I should say a feature number that will feature Lee Rynell on trumpet and also myself on trumpet. It's an arrangement by Lee Rynell, as was the last number, Aesthetic. We calls it Bahia. Jim, this has uh, been quite a great evening, uh, at least for me. I'm a little bushed at the moment, but that's inevitable. I'll bet you are. So am I. Are you? Yeah, sure. Well, um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the way out, in case uh, uh, those people who hadn't heard of the way out, it is a club. It's at the east exit of the Under Hawthorne underneath Bridge. The east, underneath, yeah. Uh, of the Hawthorne Bridge. And uh, some great things are going on over there. You might tell us a little bit about uh, some of your plans and ambitions. And well, I think the viewer can uh, get an idea generally of what's going on just from what they see here tonight. Lots uh, of special arrangements. And lots of arrangements, all, always new arrangements. Uh, Quinn Anderson, Ernie Hood, and mm -hmm. Lee Rynell writing new things all the time mm -hmm. so that the band 
has a fresh approach to mm -hmm. what we're doing. Uh, we try to, to uh, integrate uh, as many of the arts as we can. Well, I think this is one of the interesting things, is the fact that you are integrating all of the arts and cutting across lines where uh, painters and poetry is being read and uh, good music being played, experimental music, the film. And I think these are all marvelous things that, that uh, someplace we're getting together on this. Yeah, well, we're trying, area. trying to keep uh, the spirit of, of uh, spontaneity and mm -hmm. improvisation and rhythm and tone, color, line, uh, all the way through the thing, Wonderful. including painting, music, uh, movies, so forth. Well, now, you uh, usually have a, a, a special set on Sunday, don't you? Sunday afternoon, well, we've as had a rule. Special sets on Sundays and uh, also um, Thursday nights. We have the big band, the, the uh, no net it is, mm -hmm. or tentet when Ernie plays, and on Sundays we show home movies and et cetera. I see. Well, I um, certainly have enjoyed the evening myself, and I hope that uh, those of the audience are, will write in and uh, uh, tell us a little bit about it. Well, I've enjoyed it myself, and thanks, Jim. Hope we can do it Wonderful. again. Wonderful. The Jazz Arts, with your host Louis Bunce, is a Frank Parr production, written by Ernie Hood and features Jim Smith with his band from The Way Out, Portland's exclusive jazz club, located under the east exit of the Hawthorne Bridge.